What's going on guys? Jack Hammer is back and we are playing against the Michigan State Spartans on the road and we're up 14-0 early in this game. And I'm going to really try to post a lot more Jack Hammer and Tank Tucker as I really want to get them on Madden. And I know NBA 2K12 comes out very shortly and so I think I'm going to end up game flying it and then probably buying it around Black Friday if I still want to keep playing it. But I want to get a My Player series. I know that's going to make my channel really congested with all the different series, but I'm going to try to stay on top of things. And so expect a My Player series on YouTube. I don't expect to post a lot more because I'm not that good at basketball games. I don't know that much about basketball, and I've never played it really online at all. I just like playing the My Player because those type of game modes are so much fun in sports games now, and it's been... Uh, one of my favorite things to do on NCAA games and NBA. But if you haven't already, try out playing linebacker in Road to Glory or NFL Superstar. Linebacker is so much fun. It is it is my favorite position in Road to Glory by far. It's a lot more fun than running back, I think. And I just think playing defense in general is a lot more fun. And after this game against Michigan State, the rest of the video is a live commentary against Wisconsin. I want to bring a lot more live commentaries because the videos are longer, they're easier to edit, and I can usually get them up on YouTube quicker because of that. And hopefully, I think the sub boxes are getting a little bit better, at least the videos are publishing faster, but hopefully you guys are all getting these updates. I know a lot of people are telling me they're not seeing my videos in their sub boxes. And uh, if you're not seeing my videos in your sub boxes, follow me on Twitter, Twitter slash Mr. Hurricane with two eyes. I post all the links to my new videos there, I tell you guys what I'm working on, when I expect them to be uploaded, and I post a whole bunch of other stuff, and so follow me on Twitter like I said, hope to see a lot more of you guys there because the sub boxes on YouTube are pretty sketchy and I know they haven't been working for a while. But Michigan State has battled back in this matchup and Minnesota was up 20-0 to zero, and now Michigan is only down by 6, it's 27-21 to 21, and Michigan has gotten their way into gopher territory, but Jack Hammer hits the receiver after a gain of three, and now it's going to be fourth down, and they're going to hand the ball off, and that goes nowhere. Gophers defense heats him up, gets him in the backfield, but we would punt after just about a minute, and so Michigan State still with the opportunity to win this game, and their quarterback gets the ball away for a first down to the receiver, and now first and ten, three minutes left in this game. Handoff's going to go up the middle. It's a gain of eight, and now Michigan State in Gophers territory, and the pass over the middle is complete. They're now in field goal range, but they need the touchdown. Under two minutes to go in the game, and the pass goes over the middle. It will bring up third and short, and now Jack Hammer would leave the game due to fatigue, and they score a touchdown while he was on the bench. And with the extra point, Michigan State would take the lead with a minute and a half to go. Kick is up and good. Michigan State wins. What's going on, guys? A live commentary now for Jack Hammer series. No, I haven't been posting too much of his stuff lately, but I do want to try to get all my series at least one episode per week, at least. And I really want to get these guys on the Madden Superstar. I just have so many series going with my franchise, Gears of War stuff. You know, that game is brand new, so I've been focusing a lot on that. Um... Madden Ultimate Team, and then I have this, Tank Tucker, and Philip Brooks, which I got really behind on, and I want to finish up for you guys, because I know you guys want to see how the rest of his college career plays out in Florida, but this is Jack Hammer, the hard-hitting middle linebacker for the Minnesota Golden Gophers in the Big Ten, looking to go to a bowl game this season as a freshman. He's already been a star on the team. He's been a very good linebacker up to this point, and now we're in a tough game against, I think, the number seven ranked Wisconsin Badgers, but we're at home against TCF Bank Stadium, and so we want to use the home crowd to our advantage, get the win against the Badgers, and take home the Paul Bunyan Axe for the first time in God knows how many years. It probably hasn't been that many, but it's been out of my memory, so it's been a while. Alright, so we're on defense now. No score. Four and a half minutes remaining in the first. It looks like I'm covering a fullback. Snap the ball, Russell. Now I'm covering James White, looks like. He's going to run the ball, and Jack gets the tackle. Good play. Gain of two, but we hold him to a short gain. And so now it's second and eight for Jack. Actually, for the Badgers, not Jack. 
And now it's another handoff to James White, I believe. And that's no gain. And so the defense playing well on the first two plays. Now it's third and eight. Let's get a defensive stop here, Jack. Let's get them off the field, put our offense on there, and get some points on the board. I'm watching this receiver right here. Play action. And I got good zone coverage. And Jack lays the shoulder right into number 34. Good zone coverage on that play. Hold them. But apparently we couldn't score. And now it's Wisconsin's ball again. Maybe the defense is going to have to be the offense again. Is this Iowa? That game against Iowa? Oh, I bit on the play action a little bit. Went to go hit James White. Good knock away. Not sure who that was. Only defender I know is Troy Stoudemire. Also, I know Kim Royce. I don't know which safety is. All right, so second and ten. Russell Wilson as the quarterback. Man in motion. Handoff goes right to James White, and he's not going to get much as the Gophers defensive line is able to get him after a gain of three. And so now it's third and seven. Gophers playing some more man defense out of the gun, and handoff to James White, but it is not going to go anywhere. Loss of one on the play, fourth down. Come on, D, or come on, offense. Nothing. Nothing. But we keep getting... Uh, to keep getting not so good a field position and so and we made him go three and out twice so we played good defense thus far handoff goes to James White and I didn't even cover my zone I had to come over and help get the assist now it's first and ten they get their first first down on offense now Russell Wilson out of the eye formation He's going to give back to James White, and James White's going to pick up another first down, so the Badgers finally have something going. And I'm trying to post more of these college games on uh, Saturdays, because that's college football Saturday, and then I try to do NFL stuff on Sunday, because I'm a creative fellow like that, and I like to follow the pattern. Not sure what I'm going to do when I play 2K. I'm going to upload whatever the hell I want. So, another handoff to James White, and they're trying to milk him on this drive, but we're able to stop him for a loss of one. Now it's third and 13. Let's get him off the field, guys. Let's give our offense the ball. And I think Marquise Gray is like, oh, forever, because I haven't seen him in a long time in practice mode. Okay, who's going? We got a good, good coverage? Good coverage right there. All right, so... Our offense goes down, and they get a touchdown, surprisingly. And now we got Wisconsin back inside their own 25-yard line. And so we're doing a good job, not giving them a good field position. Now the option, and Russell Wilson breaks a tackle, but he's still going to lose two yards on the play. And so we're in good shape right now, midway through the second half almost. And the Badgers have not done too much on offense besides get a couple of first downs. So Russell Wilson back to pass. Come on. And more good zone coverage. Not letting them get anything. Nothing free. Nothing free. Now it's third and 12. I don't like doing these purple zones. But I'll help the team. Oh, screen pass on the right side. And James White is able to get the first down. Good play. Block set up nicely. And they were able to get the first down on our defense. And now we got to stop him. We can't let him score. We have a good defense. We have good defense. Handoff goes to James White, and I probably should have been able to plug that hole, but I was messing around. And now they're uh, in Minnesota territory. He's They're in our territory. we got to get him out of here. Handoff's going to go to James White, and he's only going to get one yard on the play, second and nine. So Jack so far with just a few tackles, nothing too flashy. A nice hit on third down on the first possession. See if we can give the folks at YouTube a little highlight reel, Jack. Well, it's going to help if they pass the ball over the middle. I don't like doing purple zones. I like doing hook zones. And they always run the ball when I run those purples anyways. And now it's fourth down, so we get to stop. Their offense is once again off the field, and we couldn't do anything. And now they have their best field position of the game, starting at their own 45-yard line. So Russell Wilson with three wide receivers, James White in the backfield, man in motion to the right, left side. I can't, his left, my right, I have no idea. 
And now that pass is going to go over the middle, and it's only going to pick up five yards. And now they're on a little bit of no huddle. We're just under a minute and a half now in the first half. Wisconsin trying to get on the board for the first time in this game. Handoff goes to White. That's going to be one yard on the play. Ooh, and now we're bringing a lot of fire. We got six guys in coverage, five bent men blitzing, but they're in a pretty good running formation, so we can't run past James White. And it's going to be a toss left side. That's what I was saying. You can't run past the running back. you got to watch the edge. So we just give up a huge first down to the Badgers. And now our best shot is to hold them to a field goal. It's first and 10. They're on their own. Or our 13-yard line. Pitch is going to go to James White again. And that's how you should have played last time. They get one yard on the play. Clock winding down. they got one timeout left. 30 seconds left now. And... Russell Wilson back to pass to the end zone, and it is almost picked off. That has got to be a catch. I don't know your real name, because I don't follow enough college football. But you got to catch the goddamn ball. Come on, man. Third and nine, Russell Wilson. Throw it right to me, bud. Come on, man. Oh, no, over the middle. That was in the back of the end zone, and they're going to rule it a incomplete pass. Awesome. I kind of looked like it was inbounds from my perspective, but I'm going to take the three points, or they're going to take the three points, and I'm going to let them have it. But three to seven now. Looks like we're going to go to the half up by four, and we do. And now we'll start out in the second half. Badgers ball, working with a four point lead. Now we got to play good D. Hold them, give the ball back to our offense. Hand, no, play action to James White, and Russell Wilson's going to get a couple of yards on the play. Bring it up second and seven. Uh, I wish I could have got a lot more Dynasty in on this game. I, I enjoyed playing the online Dynasty. It's just it died too quickly. And it's hard. It seems to be hard anyways. You get a group of guys that can play consistently. But then again, I was supposed to do a bunch of online franchises on Madden. I just I couldn't do it because I, I didn't want to hold people back with all the other YouTube stuff I do and having them be pretty high on the priority list with all my road to glory is my ultimate team and I just couldn't do the online franchise because I didn't want to make people wait and I didn't know if I would have the time and so I left the first down god well actually I didn't they did I was the second line of defense I'm a linebacker defensive lineman got to play better out of the eye is it going to be a handoff again yeah James White's had the ball like 400 times this game not an exaggeration either and now they're almost in field goal range. I'm not sure how good their kicker is. And some college kickers in this game are very surprising. They're kicking 50-plus yarders like it's nothing. Nothing. Now my, my man keeps switching. I'm not sure who i got to cover. And I just get upended. And I get blocked by number 79. That guy's a jerk. Second and nine now. Okay, uh, I bet you they're running. bet you 10 bucks. Oh my god, I just lost $10, and they passed the ball, and it's first down for the Badgers. And so they got a first down inside of our 20-yard line. This is their third time in the red zone. They got one field goal. That is awful. Handoff is going to go. Is anyone surprised? Nice shoulder you laid into him. Maybe they'll think twice about running the ball again. Pass it over the middle. I dare you, Jack Hammers over here. Level your tight end. Level your receiver. Put you guys on the bench. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Second and nine. How many second and nines have we had? About 4,876 in that ball. Touchdown to, I'm guessing it's Nick Toon. I, I don't know college players, so someone's probably going to yell at me and tell me it was the wrong player. But anyways, that was my zone coverage. I don't, whatever. I don't believe you. And now it's 10 to 7 Wisconsin over Minnesota. We want this freaking axe. And oh boy, we got him pinned at their own three yard line. So I bet you James White's getting the ball. Let's get a safety. Let's get a safety. Okay, great play right there. They get maybe half a yard or a yard or so. They're up to the four yard line. But if we can get a stop here, force them to punt the ball, we can get good field position and hopefully get a field goal at least out of this drive and tie it up. Oh, all right. I got the good hit. It's third and one. I kind of played soft in my zone because I want him to throw it over the middle, and I don't want guys to get behind me. And I'm new to this linebacker thing. I've played like under 10 games of it. And now the fullback dive gets a first down across the 15-yard line to the 16. And so moving the chains for Russell Wilson and the Badgers offense. 
So first down, and the carry goes to James White, and Hammer is there in the backfield. A tackle for a loss. He's got six tackles, four assists, and a tackle for a loss. Playing like a good middle linebacker should, and I cannot wait to get him in the NFL. That is, I'm honestly stoked to get Jack Hammer in the NFL. I wonder who's going to draft him. You know, I want the Vikings to sign him. I want the Vikings to pick him up because I, I personally don't know if they're going to re-sign E.J. Henderson after this year. In real life, I'm talking. So Jack Hammer would be a good replacement if E.J. were to go. And now Jack is in the first hit on White. And it's only going to be a gain of one. And so now Wisconsin is punting. And we scored a touchdown. Yeah, that's right, Minnesota. Yeah, state of champions. Except for I don't remember the last time we won a championship in anything. Uh, 1991. First and 10. And, oh boy, that guy just got right past me. That guy was quick. I'm a linebacker. I can't handle that type of stuff. Anyways, first down for the Badgers. We got to hold them. No touchdowns. They got to get a touchdown to win the game. And now they're going to do pretty much that screen pass is so good. That's such a smart play call. I admire their offensive coordinator. That's actually, that's really cool. Now it's first and 10 for the Badgers. Once again, they got a rhythm going on offense. And now in Gophers territory. And now Russell Wilson's going to take off. Our guy stands up. And Wilson is sacked in the backfield. Don't know if it was a, supposed to be a pass that broke down or if that was a designed run that just failed miserably. Anyways, it's second and 14. I'm covering a tight end. Got to have good coverage. Don't want to get beat deep. Two minutes left in the game. Man in motion. Now I'm covering the running back. And it looks like he's blocking, so I'm going to cover the tight end. And now that guy, oh, he almost caught the ball. And Troy Stoudemire is over there to hit Nick Toon, I believe it is. I have no idea. Like I said, I don't know college players. I know football. I'm NFL. I'm an NFL guy. And I know one CFL player, and that's Joffrey Reynolds. And now it's third and 14. Russell Wilson back to pass. He's scrambling. And he's finally taken down after a gain of three, but it's fourth down. So here's our opportunity. Get Wisconsin off the field, and Jack Hammer's going to be the first one to grab that goddamn axe and cut their bench in half. Oh, I need to be in zone. And they're throwing deep. Russell Wilson to the end zone. And out of bounds. He didn't catch it. It's all good. Turnover. It looked ugly as hell, but that's right. Oh, my God. We're back on defense. We They got rid of two timeouts. Now they're at their own nine-yard line. Jack Hammer on the blitz. Come on, Jack. Let's go off the edge. Play some Clay Matthews style. Cameron Wake. Uh, running back picked me up and the wow you guys almost gave me a heart attack they're able to get out of the shadow of their own end zone and now are up past the 40 yard line a minute to go and Russell Wilson spikes the clock so their offensive coordinator can find a, a play in the playbook to call and we're running a little bit of zone defense I like this look we're giving them come on come over the middle I dare you and I'm unable to get the tackle but they cross midfield and now tick. Actually, no tick tock because in college, a ball, the clock stops for a long time and it's not like the NFL and stuff. And so 56 seconds left. Second and 10. Jack Hammer's got a zone. He's in the zone. He's going to get a big hit, a big play. Needs a big play. That better not call that on me. That better not be my fault. It probably was. But anyways, it's first and ten. I know the Badgers are threatening to score a touchdown. If I let it up, I'm going to be freaking pissed. Another spike for Russell Wilson, about his 19th on this drive alone. Now it's second and ten. Russell Wilson out of the gun. Four wide receivers, actually three wide receivers make it with a tight end and a running back. And now they're in to protect. And the pass goes over the middle. And he's hit after a gain of six. And so tick-tock, third and four. Russell Wilson out of the gun, and they're going to look over the middle, I betcha. And it's to the end zone, and it's almost picked off. Is that Troy Stoudemire? I think it was. Anyways, it's fourth and four. This is for all the models. This is for Paul Bunyan's axe. This could get us ranked, too. This could get us ranked. Gophers ranked? That's unheard of. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That was in my zone. I I choked. First thing goal. Russell Wilson, split backfield calls a spike. Okay, 28 seconds left. I, I blame that all on me. What was I doing? All right, I don't think they're going to go out there, but I'll cover the... Okay, James White, holding penalty, holding. Push him back. Push him back. 
That's right. Holding! You cheater! Goddamn cheater trying to cheat your way into a victory. Take that, Axel. I don't think so. We don't play like that here in Minnesota. So, second and goal. Jack Hammer dropping back into coverage. And that guy just drops. He heard the footsteps. He heard the hammer coming down. He's about to get jacked. They call it good zone coverage. That's right. You give Jack Hammer those 30 points. He'll spend it wisely. Third and goal now. Russell Wilson. I bet he's looking to the end zone. And he's... Oh, that was close. That was freaking close. Anyways, fourth and goal. Once again, this is for the Paul Bunyan's axe. All the marbles, all the, all the everything's in the world. They need a touchdown. And Jack Hammer! Yeah, I got the user swat! User swat! I did it! I did it! That's right. 14-10. Gopher's gonna win this game. We just took home Paul Bunyan's axe. That's what I'm talking about. Minnesota. Stand up for your Gophers. We just knocked off a number seven ranked Wisconsin Badgers. Fantastic game, 14 to 10 victory. And so, Jack Hammer gets 700 XP, 12 total tackles, one was for a loss, and a clutch user SWAT. Jack had a good game. It's a six ranked best game I've ever played on NCAA, apparently. And I was quite satisfied with that, so we'll go see now. Whether or not we're ranked after I simulate the rest of this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this live commentary. It's my first Jack Hammer live commentary. I've done one before on Tank Tucker. Now I've done one on Jack Hammer. I want to bring a lot more of these. Because I know you guys like longer videos. And these are a lot longer. And it gives you a chance to see the entire game. Gives you a better idea for how good Jack Hammer really is. Although you don't need me to tell you that he's a monster on the field. So I didn't even realize it. But we're about done with this season. We are 7-3. and three. We're going to a bowl game, baby. All right, we got the little auto save in progress. 6.3 KXP. Now let's advance the week. We got Northwestern University next up. So we'll simulate the rest of this. Come on, we got to be ranked. We got to be in the top 25. We got to be. And then we'll check the skill upgrades and see if we can uh, add to Jack Hammer's speed or his hit power or anything. And don't forget at home, folks, we're keeping track of how many injuries Jack Hammer causes in his entire career. And that's including the NFL and college. It's an important statistic. It needs to be taken note of. And we're the first to document it. And so I just want everybody to know that I'm the first person to think of that in the world. Probably not, but it's a great idea. Anyways, could simulating take a little bit longer? I mean, I like to sit here and babble on about nothing until it actually happens. That'd be great. And we're number 22, baby. That's right. We're ranked. Minnesota Golden Gophers, we're ranked, baby. Now, skill upgrades. What we got? C -c 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 Combo. Speed, acceleration, strength, and agility. That's a pretty good one. Brick wall, strength, and tackling. I'm, f I'm worried about... Why would I want man in zone coverage? I control Jack. I control. He, he could be like a 99 man coverage of me, or he could be a 1. It's all dependent on me. Why would I care about that? I'm going to upgrade this because I want 90 speed. You know who else has 90 speed? Patrick Willis has 90 speed. I'm not trying to compare him to Patrick Willis. I'm saying that Jack Hammer is a little bit better. Okay, not really, but maybe he's going to be a great running run linebacker. Linebacker someday. Anyways, that's going to conclude this live commentary episode. Jack Hammer on the road to glory. NCAA Football 12. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, favorite, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next commentary. You guys have a great day. Watch some college football today. I'll see you guys in the next commentary.